The Synthwave EZX delivers a curated collection of over 400 electronic, organic, and classic percussion source sounds. These classic nostalgic sounds were then mixed, layered, and sculpted with modern techniques into 20 mix-ready kits tailored for the synthwave and pop music heard today. In the EZX, you can select from one of the pre-made mix-ready kits from the kit selection menu, or use the presets as a starting point for designing your own custom kits. Any instrument in the kit can be changed by selecting and choosing a different option from the instrument menu. Here you can also adjust the instrument volume and tuning or pitch of the instrument. The Synthwave EZX includes a sampling of grooves designed to work with the sounds for each individual kit. With the MIDI customization features in Easy Drummer 3, you can quickly create new hybrid grooves or even program them from scratch. Let's say that you find a groove where you like the kick and snare pattern, but you want to use the percussion and hi-hat from another groove. Using the expandable groove parts column, you can easily drag and drop MIDI on an instrument basis to the song track. The additional instrument MIDI that's dragged on top of an existing block will be merged to create a custom groove. I'll take the hi-hat from this groove and the subtle shaker from this groove. Or if you'd rather use the traditional step sequencer approach to creating a beat, Open Tap to Find and start by building your kick and snare pattern on the step sequencer. You can then click on additional instrument paths to add them to the beat or play their MIDI note on your MIDI controller. Once you've made a beat that you like, click the search button to find matching grooves in your library. Here you can find any additional grooves that you'd like to use, or simply drag the MIDI from Tap to Find to the song track to save your beat. Now that there's a beat on the song track, I'll copy and paste parts of grooves from the browser to the beat on the song track. Just copy the browser groove, then use the Paste on Selected Groove command. If you're more comfortable working in a grid editor, you can do a very similar workflow by looping the playback and adding notes or recording them with a MIDI controller and the song tracks record feature. Once you're done, quantize the recording with the slider and draw in notes for additional instruments or merge record with a second recording pass. The mixer in the Synthwave EZX includes faders for every instrument, reverb sends, and a dedicated snare reverb. There's also a series of classic effects for electronic sounds that can be dialed in with the knobs below the faders. With these controls, you can obviously dial in your desired levels for the instruments and effects, but you can also create classic electronic automation effects directly inside of Easy Drummer 3. To automate a control in the mixer, right-click the control that you want to change and select Bind to CC, then choose an available CC number. Now in the Grid Editor, you'll be able to select that CC in the Values Editor and draw in breakpoints. Finally, if you'd rather use other third-party plugins to mix your Synthwave sounds, use Easy Drummer 3's multiple outputs to send the instruments to separate tracks in your DAW. Just choose a different output in Easy Drummer 3's mixer and create a track in your DAW that receives that output. 
Now you can mix the individual instruments with any plugin that you own.